PSS SINCA load development calculations are enhanced load flow calculations with load and generation levels that vary over time. Based on calculation results from detailed network analysis, the module allows you to simulate the load in networks at future times and is a valuable tool in planning future networks. To see this at work, load the example network example LD from the SINCAL installation. Load development allows you to specify load changes over time and load flow results are automatically determined at points in time when changes are applied to the network. The observation period for load development calculations are set globally in the load flow calculation settings. The fields for start date and end date define the observation period for all load development calculations. In the network data of node and branch elements, an individual establishment time and shutdown time can also be assigned to define what part of the observation period the network element is active in. If no dates are input here, the network element is assumed to be on for the entire observation period. Various methods are available to assign load changes to consumers. One method is to define a load polygon or a power polygon and to apply load increases to all consumers in the whole group. These groups are of the type graphic element group. To see the graphic element groups that have been defined in this example, open the network browser. The network elements assigned to each group are shown in the network browser. To localize these elements in the network diagram, right click, localize. Graphic element groups are created through defining a polygon in the network diagram. All network elements inside the polygon are assigned to the group. To specify load development calculations, open data load development. Give the load development a name and a short name. For a load development of type load polygon, one of the predefined graphic element groups can now be assigned to the load polygon. To assign how loads should increase, click on the pull down menu and select from the predefined load increase elements. To edit these elements, click on the arrow field. In this form, how loads increase, at what date and by what amount is entered for the load increase element, normal. If loads are to increase according to another pattern, it's possible to create a new load increase element. PSS SYNCAL provides a variety of options for how load increase behavior is to be defined. For example, relative or absolute. Additional loads can be used to admit loads of a load polygon or a load group with additional power proportionally at a specific time. An additional method of allocating load changes to a group of consumers is through a load group. A load group is based on a network element group. It is also possible to define the load increase for a specific consumer directly. For example, the normal load increase profile used for the load polygons from this example can also be applied here. Run the load development simulation under Calculate, Load Flow, Load Development. Since a large number of different load flows are typically done, it is useful to individually control what results are stored in the database. In the load flow calculation settings, it is possible to control which results are stored in the database. For example, results depending on method, or results only if limits have been exceeded. The load development results are displayed for a specific date in the network diagram like normal load flow results. To see the results for another date within the observation period, simply select the date in the results toolbar, or click through the dates. Notice how fields like current date can be entered as legend. Now turn on the filter function for the color-coded display of results on network elements. By clicking through, it is now possible to clearly see the network development over time. As cables and transformers become overutilized, and voltage drops become critical. Aside from visualizing results for network elements, it's also possible to display results of polygons by switching over to the evaluation mode. In this example, the color coding of the polygons indicates low density, and legends have also been inserted to display these values. Clicking through the observation period clearly shows the network development over time. Results are also generated as diagrams, both automatically and in a user-defined fashion. 
In the PSA SYNCAL diagram view under Load Development are automatically generated diagrams for the input data to the load development calculations. In Verteilung 1A, the load development with the load polygon V1A is plotted graphically. Similarly, the load increase element normal is also graphed for the observation period. Unlike input data, results of the load development calculations are displayed in a purely user-defined way. In this example, four graphs have been plotted on one page in portrait orientation. In the first graph, it's possible to see how voltages fall over the observation period for the two feeders, compared to a reference level of 100%. In graph 2, the real and reactive power of the slack in feeder is seen to increase. In the next diagram, the transformer utilizations are also seen to increase. Finally, the power consumption of two selected consumers is displayed and seen to increase over time. Leveraging on PSS Syncal's powerful inbuilt load development diagram functionality, the user can specify the results he would like displayed and fine tune exactly how these are to be displayed. This provides valuable information for identifying weak points in the network and prioritizing required network reinforcements or restructuring measures.